Now, the South African government has been warned that its controversial tobacco bill threatens to wipe out vaping in South Africa. Now, the proposed new law groups new technology vaping products, which contain no tobacco with traditional cigarettes, despite independent international research showing that e-cigarettes are 95% less harmful. To discuss this and more, I'm now joined by Arshad Abba, who's the Global Vice President uh, at Canback Consulting. Very interesting developments how vaping would get stuck in the middle. I mean, we see people all around with their uh, little, I think they're called vapors. I'm not sure you'll correct me. <laughs> vaping is right, yeah. E-cigarettes, yes, that's what they are. Uh, let's start with um, South Africa's positioning on a global landscape uh, when it comes to this particular market. So I think if we look at South Africa and the position of South Africa, South Africa is at a very early stage of development in the vaping. And what we're seeing is that global markets have been going at around 40%. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's big growth. What they are doing as well is they're starting to take some share away from your formal cigarettes market. Uh, what we're seeing in South Africa, the growth is around 10 or 15%. So it's a lot slower, slower behind the curve on the marketplace. But uh, South Africa growth should start picking up. Right, and how will the tobacco bill, as I just alluded to in my intro, impact on that growth that you've just spoken about in South Africa? So I think the important drivers for growth of vaping is the relative cost of vaping versus your formal cigarettes. Also, we look at affordability and we highlight the affordability is important in terms of vaping. What we expect with the bill coming out is that it will significantly impact the category being of a low base, it will, in the first year of implementation of such a, a, a strategy, it will bring the numbers down quite significantly and it will grow quite slowly thereafter. So I think it would have a huge impact, both in terms of growth, but also in terms of the uh, employment potential mm -hmm. from the industry. Yeah, and I mean, based on your engagements and the trends you've seen, what really is the potential for the market to grow, barring that bill? So what we're seeing is the vaping market in South Africa is about 1.6 billion rand. Mm -hmm. Uh, we expect that in 10 years' time, that could potentially get to about 3 billion, so about three times its current size. So at the moment, it may not be seen as relevant in the South African market, but does become more significant over time. Other thing is that we should see vaping as a disruptive category. And being a disruptive category, it's driven by technology, so the cost of vaping will come down over time, and also it become more attractive uh, in terms of affordability for people to actually enter the category. Yeah, let's talk about that affordability. I mean, yeah. there's probably a misconception. Yeah. This e-cigarette looks very sophisticated. Um, I think people would choose getting a box of cigarettes over um, a, that pretty uh, little gadget, you know. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about that affordability and really just kind of disperse those myths that perhaps are yeah. existent. So if we look at the market overall, I mean, a pack of 20 cigarettes would cost you about 35 Rand. If you look at 20 milliliters of e-liquid, it's about 141 Rand. Interestingly, if we look at the Ipsos studies, the informal market, you can buy a pack of cigarettes for about 10 rand, but mostly the uh, people buy one stick at 50 cents. So that's how distinguished the market is. But when we actually looked at the amount of consumption of vaping as compared to formal smoking, where we look at the frequency of how it happens and how much is actually consumed on a daily basis, it actually works out that vaping on an annualized basis is about 0.9 times that of cigarettes which is quite a formal cigarette, sorry, mm -hmm. which is quite interesting. And the largest reason for that is that uh, the consumption is less, but also the vaping devices have come down quite significantly. So the average price of a vaping device in 2015 was about 690 rand. Honestly, today, quality device, you could probably buy for 250 rand. And it lasts for, I assume, a one while. Yeah, so essentially it's got a warranty for one year, and most people use it for one year, but because people like to try new things, sometimes six months, but the average time of usage per device is about one year. Yeah, I want to go back to that growth potential that you spoke about, yeah. three billion um, potential there, and mm. just the socioeconomic impact. You mm. uh, briefly mentioned the possibility for job creation. Yeah. Um, uh, just perhaps unpack that for us a little bit more. I mean, you do know South Africa is struggling with creating jobs. Our jobs numbers came through very yeah. disappointing figures. Um, so the potential for job creation in this market. Okay. So I think, firstly, where vaping is sold is largely in what we call specialized stores. Mm -hmm. And that's very different from where your traditional cigarettes are sold, which is more on the supermarket uh, channel. And as these specialist stores are largely small to medium type enterprises, 
uh, we see that uh, that will help with growth. So we see jobs currently that have been created about 4,500, but that could potentially get to about 14,000 in about 10 years' time. Still small in the total impact of the market. But something nonetheless. But that assumes normal growth. If we have accelerated growth, this could significantly get larger. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. A very interesting market there. I assume we'll be talking a lot more about it um, in the weeks to come. I've been speaking there to Ashrad Abba, who's the Global Vice President at Canback Consulting.